This is a very easy French onion soup. The ingredients that I use to make this particular dish is onions. Any kind will do, red onions, sweet onions, yellow onions, Vidalia onions, they all will work. Mushrooms, in today's recipe I use shiitake, but I have used portobello, baby bella, oyster mushrooms, and I've even used lion's mane before. The meat that I use for today's recipe is actually lamb um, shoulder chops, but I have used venison and beef and buffalo before. Preferably some sort of meat that actually has some bone in it. Then I used broth for today and the broth I used was actually mixed bones that was cooked for a really long time, three days, and it rendered a really nice dark broth. But you can use stock also. Make sure that it comes from a red meat source, like buffalo or venison or beef, because it needs to have that deep flavor. And then salt, balsamic vinegar or red wine, and pepper, freshly ground preferably. The onions are so fresh that I actually have tops on them at the farmer's market, but you wanna remove all the tops for this recipe. And when all the onions are cleaned up, you wanna use about, if you're gonna make a small soup, which is about one and a half to two quarts of soup, probably about three or four onions, and I'm gonna make a huge pot of soup. So I used 10 onions for this recipe. And then I used quite a large bowl of a bunch of shiitake mushrooms. I really like mushrooms, so I use quite a bit of mushrooms in my recipe. You don't even have to put in mushrooms if you don't like them. It's totally okay just to use onions. I thinly slice all these mushrooms and onions through a food processor. And I layer the pot first with the mushrooms. So you can see that they're thinly sliced. You can chop them up too. It's just making a large pot, having a lot of mushrooms to chop up will take a lot of time. And then the onions, I layered that on top. That's what my onions look like, thinly sliced through the food processor. Then I layer the lamb chops on top of the onions. Now you can use other meat, like I said before. Uh, in this case, I've used, I uh, deboned a venison leg and there were some pieces and cuttings uh, with fatty pieces on it. You definitely wanna use something that has fat on it. So you don't wanna just use lean stew meat or something like that. And preferably something that has a bone in it that will render some collagen and some gelatin. And then you're gonna sprinkle salt on top of everything. And this whole pot, you definitely need to have an oven safe pot, uh, like a French oven or a Dutch oven. And I uh, close the lid and I put it in the oven at 220 degrees. I either put it in in the evening before I go to bed or I put it in the morning, uh, the day off we, that we might eat the soup. So it's in the oven for about six to eight hours. When it comes out of the oven, it is very easy to debone it. It's basically fall off the bone. And you can see in this picture, it's very easy to take the bone out and it's rendered quite a bit of fat and its own broth. And after you picked out the bones, you wanna just swirl it around and, and break up all the meat into little um, smaller pieces. And then I add about, well, this is a very large pot, so I added about four quarts of broth. And then I add quite a bit of black pepper, since this is a really large pot, but add pepper to your taste. A lot of people put um, red wine in their French onion soup, which is extremely delicious. I just don't have red wine always um, on hand available to throw in a soup, other than having to open up a whole bottle for that. So I like to keep a really good traditional balsamic vinegar, real balsamic vinegar, on hand for this purpose. 
And if I were to say how much you would use balsamic vinegar, you would probably use a half a cup for a full cup of wine. Well, this is a very large pot, so maybe start with a quarter cup first and see how that goes. You can always add, it's hard to take away. Then you wanna bring that to a good boil because if you're gonna use wine, you wanna boil off the alcohol and you definitely wanna infuse the balsamic vinegar with the actual dish and taste it and see if the salt content is right for you. And this is what it looks like when the dish is completely done. I know that in traditional French onion soup, they put bread at the bottom of the bowl and then layer the soup and then they put um, Gruyere cheese at the top and then they broil it in the oven to get that, that cheesy crust in there. But I really feel that just this soup is perfect the way that it is. It's really rich because of the fat that got rendered out of the meat and the fat from the broth or stock. And I really like to serve it with bread that doesn't get soaked with the soup in there and, I, and you dip the bread in there as you wish. Nobody likes to eat a soup sandwich. And here's the final presentation. I like to serve it with some sourdough bread and smoked like a yitta.